Hey guys, welcome to Operation Silent Empire. We're right back to the plains, and there's a milk can just over there. Let me see if I can, it's like... Okay, it's somewhere. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those reefs from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. The UFO is a lot bigger this time. I'm trying to see if I can find. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time I started over here. This is just the same map except they put a bigger UFO on it. That's why when you do the scouts on this map, there's like a big empty space around the base of the scout. Huh. Okay. Gonna let Van Dorn have all the fun here. I don't know what's out there, but I have a strong team. One, two, three. I have a strong team, and one thing I do know is that there is Thank definitely you know some meld on the map. Double time. Echo. And there's 11 in cans right now, which is more than I've had for a bit. Systems engaged. Wasn't I getting like 20 or something at some point though? Moving. Yeah, I was getting 21. Already there. Mm -hmm. Loaders somewhere. In motion. That's the map edge. Okay. I'm gonna try chucking a scan just one hundred percent for a vision here. What else would you check a scan for, I wonder? We have... That looks like quite a lot of floaters. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so one, two, three, four, five floaters. I can't tell if this one's a heavy floater. They're all heavy floaters. Okay, heavy floaters. That's affirmative. Could be difficult for me to deal with. I've got rockets. I have a very, very available long rifle here as well within the zone, which can hopefully score two hits. Apparently I have 83% on flying floaters. On Overwatch. Heading to that location. I don't think I have hollow targeting anywhere. And Dorn doesn't have hollow targeting. I think that that's wrong. I think my Van Dorn build sucks. Okay, they're over there. And we've got sectoids making noises somewhere as well. I'm gonna move my rockets forward. I think that the sectoids are actually in the command pod. I think that on the raider I get a sectoid commander now. I'm, on it, commander. I'm a little worried about these heavy floaters if they get some good shots off at me. Affirmative. We have eyes on the target. I'm 
I'm on it, Commander. Just get make sure that that tree's not in the way. Okay. On Overwatch. Are you gonna come fight me? They're still pretty well grouped. Smelled somewhere. I don't know where. I'm gonna get shred on all these. Well, fuck. Um... Get a scanner here or something. Better. Now let's meet the floaters. Sapper evasion launch bombard. It's not too scary. Evasion launch bombard, whatever. Invasion launch bombard. Um, this guy over here is the fancy leader dude though. He's not overwatching, but I'm not sure how I could get shots at him either. Does it really only deal 8 damage? Gross. I think the back guy is on the lowest health, right? This guy. Wait. This guy should die. He's shredded, so... That was... Unfortunate. <laughs> Oof. Smoke grenade would be nice. Just saying. Let's <laughs> move here. No, I can't see over the fucking log. This is meant to do 34% damage, as well as destroying cover. Cool. I have no idea what I'm meant to do about this guy just flying over and killing my Rocketeer. I'm gonna try to disabling shot here. Oh, I know what I can do. I can move her. Understood, sir. Okay. Let's play a little bit defensively here. Actually, I could have just made her shoot another rocket. Twenty-five <sighs> percent, huh? No joy here. I should maybe invest in okay so far this isn't so bad i should invest in the hyperwave decoder sometime soon so that i know when heavy floaters are coming on missions and can bring lots of mind phrase and side panics and stuff that seriously deals nine damage like without heat warheads <laughs> a little nuts.
right? <laughs> That's silly, right? Hmm. There's one uh, who isn't visible. I actually quite like to capture a heavy floater. Try to drop this rocket here, get rid of that cover, and kill the boss dude. No more cover. Tactical sense, close encounters, covering fire, evasion, launch bombard, heat ammo, repair servos. Uh, he should be shredded. How much health does he have? 11? So... Well, let's see if we can make this work this time. I have a marksman's rifle shot at him too, if he doesn't. That was more like it. Now... This guy is pretty good at taking this shot. Good. Ammo out. Let's move up to Buffer here. Okay, we found them both. Hmm. I wouldn't mind a heavy Alien floater captain. Apparently he's running away. And Dorn can probably move here and suppress. I'm not sure if he's allowed he's to step top. right. Let's find out. No, he can. That was depressing. Oh, I don't have chem on the mission. We just take the 56% chance of this guy being done with. That was a large, large crit. Okay, I believe the last heavy floater is running away now. Yes, sir. Just a touch and reload. Oh, I should have reloaded and steadied, maybe. Got a door opening inside the UFO. Also got meld inside the UFO. I'm gonna use my last motion tracker charge. See, I th think that that's the command pod. Right here. Maybe I'm wrong. I think it is, though. Uh, like, just barely to the left of this door. And then this guy's up here. Hopefully not on Overwatch, that would be offered. Okay. I'm gonna try to bring him down. Line of sight, as always, just makes absolutely perfect sense at all times. I'm 
gonna do this and shoot him from outside uh, sight range. Gotcha. Suck on that. Sir. Enemy is. On the move. I think I just encouraged him to shoot at one of my soldiers. Which is a play I'm not so sure about in retrospect. Good shooting. Let's do this. Position confirmed. I have no idea why I can't see him. Okay. Also, it turns out I didn't really need to uh, kill him. That was more floater noises. Okay. So, we've got a baby floater pod as well. I was incorrect about that being the command pod. Ideally, if they just all grouped up. Just six floaters. Go ahead and take my last rocket shot. Kill two outright. You can pick off another two. in a number of ways. I'm gonna do it with somebody who actually gets experience still. No longer a threat. I need to, Heading to that location. call Caitlyn soon. Alright, let me do that. Hey guys! We've got one floater left. Affirmative. We have eyes on the target. That was a much less eventful battle than the one against the uh, heavy floater pod. I still haven't found my meld. I thought I saw a meld like just out front of the UFO. <laughs> I bet that when it shuffles where your soldiers deploy, it also shuffles where the melt is, so it's lying to you. I think Van Dorn got that. Here we go, Peter. Okay, we're out of rockets. There is Mel ticking down. Let's go find it. Gotta be a little bit careful. Like I said, we're out of rockets. In motion. Affirmative, Commander. Heading there now. So I guess the like wind up thing at the back is for the punch module? Locked and loaded. I don't know. I haven't worked out how mechs work yet. No, this guy's got the wind up thing at the back. That's for mech too. It's like the battery pack. It's the energizer bunny. Looking forward to titan armor. Let's rock. I'm just running in blind if I if I walk into this UFO right now. I have visual on the object. Where? Mission to approach. Okay, cool. Give 
So between turns I'll get an audio indicator on whoever is left in here. Like I said, I think that it's a sectoid commander after you've done a base assault. Yes, sir. Maybe we'll find out I'm wrong though. That's affirmative. Sectoids that way. Hello? Who's out there? Oh. Okay. So it was actually quite close to my starting position. So it doesn't surprise me that it expired. There go. Approaching target now. I'm expecting this to be the last pod. And this seems like it would be an okay place to pick up another plasma pistol, I guess, but for the most part, it's not going to be super exciting. Unless it turns out to be like four outsiders and two sector commanders or something, that would be sick. But I don't think that the pods get that outrageous. Ooh, there's actually more meld somewhere. There's a uh, something here. And a something here. Find out what they are next turn. I'm on the move. This is a route. Head now. Gonna put the long rifle here. Sir. Can't left click anymore. <laughs> Affirmative. Just put this here, this here, this will be fine. Let's use mist. Where is it? Oh, let's mist on his back. Really nice to get this meld. Wait, so is that not actually contact? So I'm gonna move somebody not that important to there. Um, let's move. On my well, way. This guy is fairly important, but let's move him here. Whoa! There's a lot more people than I thought were here. Okay, that's like a pretty real command pod, I'd say. I don't think I have Shred. Van Dorn's got heat ammo and the Valkyrie's got heat ammo. And I've got disabling shots out the wazoo and I have this. Okay, we've got tons of ways to kill the mechtoid. Holy moly. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's take one shot here. And then I'll finish it off within the zone. Because this doesn't seem like a turn where I should be messing around with using extra actions to like give kills to people who are less efficient to put those kills on. Good work. We got a kill here. Enemy target eliminated. Um Man, that did a pretty decent job of wrecking the pod, didn't it? 
Try to bring this guy down. Okay, he's capturable. I don't think that the sectoid commander is actually much more valuable to capture than the little sectoid. That was 98% to crit, but unfortunately it didn't even hit. Move to here where I can get capture temps on both. Oh wow, we have far less remaining than I thought we did. This guy's got really good innate defense. Oh crap. Alright, so I can command big guy to do nothing, he's out of bullets? Holy moly. Okay. One sectoid, who I think will run away. I'm gonna block this tile so the sectoid can't run to there. I'll just run back here though and shoot my engineer. Okay. here and we get three capture attempts on him. I only took one. That's pretty nice. It's a little tougher to get plasma pistols I think and you do need quite a few of them because so many soldiers use pistols. I don't know. I I just made that up. Um, Ursalem is up to Captain 3. We're about to get ammo cons and I've been building this guy all the way down the right side, so I'm going to keep going. Let's grab Sharpshooter here. I'm about to get Ammo Conservation and Titan Armor, so neither of these are as important. 548.84 to 552.88. That was not that bad. I will take that. Alien pistol, lots of corpses, one sectoid captive. We got 25 lyrium, 35 alloys. I think a lot of that's from the floater pods. 21 meld. So I was getting 11 per pod, so that's 10 residual meld. Some stuff that has to be sold. Gives me 147 bucks. Okay, now I have to work out what I'm going to spend this money on. I also have to call my girlfriend, because she wasn't ready to be called yet. I'll see you... now. Okay, so the plan is going to be to save up a little bit longer, and I'm going to go for armored fighters. And the reason for that is that crit that I took, intercepting the fighter over... Australia, right? That's where it was. Um, whatever it was that just happened, but somebody crit my interceptor for like 70% of its health, and I don't want to lose interceptors. I just need one more reasonable mission to be able to start advanced fighters, and that's what we're going to go for. May need to sell some stuff to help get there, but I'm sure I'll be able to. Uh, foundry's cooking along nicely. I've got two skeleton keys building. I have one satellite on the way. I could start another skeleton key soonish, maybe after advanced fighters, armored fighters rather. I'll go for a skeleton key as well. Month's going pretty well so far. 
I have one interceptor more than I need in Asia, probably. So I'm gonna put Mango. No. North America's fine. Anyone? I don't know. Let's put Mango here. It's a small thing, but I think it's maybe a slight improvement. Okay, cool. That's all there is to do right now. I'm gonna scan on the 11th at 8 a.m. for Exalt. Had enough of these guys running missions on me. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the Hollow Globe. I believe we're getting 3.5 abductions this month, and here's number one. So swarming over Russia. Unfortunately, I don't get the bonus cash from it anymore because I've lost Argentina. I'm going to check and see how far off Hicks is from ready to go on this because I think he's pretty close. Three more days. Okay, he's not close. Uh, 24. Yeah, I got, I got nothing. So I'm going to have to exhaust or make do with the stuff right here. I do have a Valkyrie, but I think I'll exhaust one more mech. Pulsen will be good. Devine will be fine. Maxaraj can lead the mission. That's okay. Getting a little bit bare bones here, but I think that we're going to be fine. It's an urban close quarters. It means the Valkyrie will be particularly good. I think a Goliath is probably pretty good here too, and the Goliath's hard to find use for elsewhere. I might just go for three mechs. Just checking what's coming out of wounds soon. Not much that helps me. I also want to take this mission quickly. Hmm. Well, I guess assaults will help with taking it quickly. Scout sort of does too. Orlova is like a passable engineer. My exalt team has a little break here. Devine could use another mission. Okay, this is <laughs> a pretty weak squad. I don't have suppression. I don't have a disabling shot. This is a squad where I can easily imagine everyone dying. I think that I'll go... for an exhaustion of some sort to get suppression on the team. It's exhaust dang. I don't think I need to exhaust Van Dorn. I think that like all I'm doing is suppression with the gunner anyway. That's like it is a fairly strong team other than the complete lack of suppression. Uh normal I think at this point. Valkyrie loadout. I'm gonna go flamethrower because it's urban close quarters. That makes me want... <sighs> that makes me want another mech. Oh, no, 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 let's do it like this. Let's go defender, railgun. I'll just go flamethrower mist. The punchy fist is in working enough for me to be excited about it. Mech close combat and mech sprinting are both coming up though, so we're gonna get there. I just don't really feel like we're there yet. Go shred on... whoa! 
Really? Huh. My cats have gone insane. This is apparently the only assault I'm bringing. Okay, let's go Ally Cannon then. Carapace armor just doesn't look very impressive anymore. We're gonna fix that up soon though. We're gonna ally strike rifle, marksman scope, and keep on bringing the alloy plate, I think. Orlova is in charge of grenades. She doesn't even have. Repair, if I wanted to bring a uh, arc thrower. I think that we need four grenades. Call it a hunch. Let's put the auto rifle on Dang. She's vulnerable. Devine's in charge of picking people up if they fall over. I'm gonna give him the scatter laser, laser pistol. He's got lots of smoke grenades, which is good, and I think I need chems. And Pulson's in charge of hopefully actually killing stuff. I'm gonna bring extra rockets. And on this map, I expect that he'll just be able to stand somewhere and shoot a lot of rockets. Urban close quarters. Yeah. Typically, typically this is going to be some fun fighting. So a relatively weak squad for a swarming abduction. Strike one. Prepare for landing. We can evac here. It's allowed. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. This is one of the larger urban close quarters. The aliens are continuing to target civilians for abduction in several major cities across the globe. We have to get down there and deploy as soon as possible. Alright, I'll see you guys next time for Operation Fading Tears.